hi we are going to study the cling and community the importance of cling and community in the network structure uh, in big data analytics now let's start with what is a cling and what is a community cling which is commonly known as a cling percolation method cling is nothing but a connection of nodes which are formed when the graphs are connected and they are known as a complete graphs two clings are considered adjacent if they share a k minus 1 nodes clings are formed with a complete graph if you see over here my graph has 1 2 3 4 and 6 nodes and these 6 nodes are connected to each other now cling is formed when all the three nodes are connected together if you see this cling one is formed when all the three nodes are completed completely connected and they form a complete graph the clings or the nodes which are not connected to each other they do not form a cling so these three nodes if you consider this node this node and the third one these three are not forming a complete graph so they do not form a cling so any three nodes which are connected properly to each other and form a complete graph is known as a cling here in this example we have two clings form and third cling can be formed over here these three will form a third cling now how does a cling affect the networks and how the clusters are formed is a important perspective here we are going to study the cling formation and how the community is formed now after seeing that this out of the six nodes i can form one two and a third cling over here so this forms a third cling the cling cannot be formed over here now out of these clings now we have to see what is a community this is the two clings that are formed and now what is a community a community is defined as a maximal union of k clings that can be reached from each other through a series of adjacent k clings now what is this k k can be defined as any number in the previous example when i said i formed the cling of these three so my k value was 3 so when my k value was 3 it forms a triangle and it is known as a cling of value 3 now when i say they can be reached from each other means there has to be a common link between the two clings to form a community we see over here this community is formed now this community is a formation of two clings if you remember the one cling which was formed is this and the second cling which is formed is this so the common node between the two is either a this node or a this node so there has to be a common node between the two clings to form a community the community cannot be formed if there is no common node so and one thing has to be again very clear that cling is formed only from a complete graph that is why in this definition of community cling is also mentioned again now if you are clear about what is cling and community let's solve an example now this is an example where the cling and community is not formed this is a complete graph which is given to you it has eight nodes and nodes are connected as shown cling and community not compulsorily need a directed graph but they need an undirected complete graph so for this example we need to find out how many communities are there how many clings are there and we can form clings with the value k is equal to 3 If I say cling k is equal to three, then it has three nodes. If I say cling k is equal to four, then it has four nodes. Let's take an example. So let's start with it. When I start with k is equal to three, let's see how many clings can be formed. Let's start with combining one, two, and three. So this is cling number one that can be formed. This is cling number two. i'm taking only 3 nodes at a time because my value of k is 3 now these are the two clings that we form now again we'll take another slide where we'll form the next cling two clings were formed now 
this is the third cling that I form this is the fourth cling that can be formed no more clings can be formed because my k is equal to 3 so when k is equal to 3 I can form four clings with this cling if I need to form a community how can I form for me to form a community if you see this node number 2 is common between this cling the cling over here and a cling over here because there's a common node which connects the two cling so this complete thing will form one cluster one community so two clings combined together with the common node forms a complete community and this if you see is a complete graph because all nodes are connected with each other if you see 8 and 4 are not connected but yes they are connected with each other from 8 to 2 and 2 to 4 this is how we form a simple cling and a community for the value k is equal to 3 now if my value goes for k is equal to 4 that is I need to form a cling with 4 nodes so the first cling that can be formed is over here this is one cling this is the second cling and this is the third cling with this I can form 3 clings for the value k is equal to 4 now there can be more clings that can be formed you can say I can form a cling like this that is I can start from 6 to 1 and 5 then it becomes too clumsy because I need to have a separate neat clusters for the network community the more nodes that I have that are connected to each other and I form are too many interconnected clings that lead to a network problem so these are the three simple clings that can be formed for the value k is equal to 4 now if I need to form a community then what happens if you see these two clings can be formed into a community because 2 and 6 are common so this becomes one community for this particular cling then the next community that I can form is here right so this is how we form the cling and the community now let's start with another example this is an example which has if you see A, B, C, D, E, F and G, H, I nine nodes which are connected to each other and we need to find out the clings and the community for this particular example you can see very easily that for the value K is equal to 3 clings can be formed but what happens if the value is K is equal to 4 it cannot be formed because no 4 nodes are connected to each other which form a complete graph so let's start with how to do a cling in a community with this particular graph now you can see here very easily I have marked ABC form, forms the cling 1 GHI forms the cling 2 and DF forms the cling 3 now I have got for the value K is equal to 3 which forms a triangle I have got 3 clings now let's see how the community can be formed now the rule for the community is between the two clings I need a common node but if you see here this is cling 1 this is cling 2 and this is cling 3 there is nowhere that I get a common node which completes my graph C and G are connected with each other but they do not form a common graph if I see only these four conditions or these four nodes I do not get a complete graph hence I cannot form a community so let's see what I need to do to form a community between this if this problem is asked in the exam then we can say that we connect a temporary link over here and if CH and R, C and H are assumed to be connected then only we can form a community like this over here so this will be one community form if we presume that there is a link which is existing between C and H similarly so this one community will be formed similarly I need to connect a dummy link between D and H over here to form community 2 and D and C over here to form a community 3 
So, if there is no common link existing between the two clings, then the community cannot be formed. But if we need to solve any particular problem, then we can have a temporary link which needs to be existing between the two nodes and then only the community can be formed. Thank you.